I can't believe how many people are here. I never knew he had this many friends. Where have you all been for the last five years? I guess to you guys, he was already dead, right? I mean, what's a great man without his greatness? Just some old guy. So you probably want to catch up on what you missed out on. Um, he used to read all day. He kept demanding more and more books. I was getting them out of the library by the carload. There were hundreds. And then one day I realized he wasn't reading. He believed aliens were sending him messages through the Dewey Decimal numbers in the library books he was trying to work out the code. He used to um, shuffle around in his slippers. He talked to himself. He stank. I had to make sure he bathed, which was embarrassing. Oh, then he started writing 19, 20 hours a day. I, I got him this huge case of notebooks. He used every one. I dropped out of school. You see, he was convinced that he was writing the most beautiful, elegant proofs. Proofs like music. I'm glad he's dead. Catherine. Catherine. Don't call the cops. I can't believe I just said that. No, definitely push the envelope. I think I need to go home. And I'll drive you. No, it's OK. I'm going to walk. It's a long walk. Thanks. The daycare is excellent, and we're starting to apply for preschools now, which locks you into a commitment. Oh, it does? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever miss Chicago? No. I mean, um, no. You have the house now, though. You and Mitch moved back and hung it up. You look great. Claire gave it to me. I, I like it. It doesn't really fit. Sure it does. You can't prove it. Well, I can try and disprove the opposite. I can prove that it doesn't not fit. How? I can take a vote. 